A teenager opening up about the terrifying alligator attack that cost him his right arm. It's an attack that could have had a much different ending. NBC's Carrie Sanders is in Palmdale, Florida this morning. Carrie, good morning. Well, good morning. I'm at Gatorama, which is an alligator farm, and it was an alligator much like that one right there that took the 17-year-old victim's arm 10 feet long. But Fred Langdale was able to survive in part because he grew up around alligators and watches reality TV. I knew I was in trouble then, and I had to try to make a break for it. 17-year-old Caleb Fred Langdale and his buddies say they were just cooling off, but this dip in the Caloosahatchee River in Moorhaven turned ugly Monday. From out of nowhere, this almost 800-pound, 10-foot-long alligator chased Fred as he tried to swim away. But losing ground, Fred turned back to face the gator and mimicked what he's seen professional gator trappers do on reality TV. I take my left hand and I grab that skin up underneath him, trying to control him. And he just kept going, and I pulled his head up, and I wrapped my legs around him. And then he just went and dove. Well, he started pulling me down, and I knew it's either, well, I've got to lose this arm, or I'm going to die. His arm trapped, the gator went into a death roll, and his arm tore off, bleeding, but remarkably aware, Fred swam to shore. I took my arm and put it between my legs and squeezed to stop the bleeding. And I had the bleeding stop before the cops even got there. I'm glad it went after me, chose me instead of one of my friends, because I don't think they would have done the same thing and got out of it. His right arm gone just below the elbow, but his humor remains intact. How are you? Good. I feel like you got my arm off. <laughs> Seemingly unfazed by losing a limb, and his mother says that's just what she'd expect. He never has a, a bad outlook on anything. He told me that it was his left, it's okay that it was my right arm because I drive my airboat with the left arm. <laughs> Alligator attacks are rare. Since 1948, when Florida State Wildlife Officers began collecting statistics, there have been 335 attacks and only 22 deaths. But experts say it's mating season, and that's the worst time to encounter a gator. People you understand it's not a controlled environment like Disneyland or something like that. It's not a theme park. This is wild Florida. I feel good right now. Fred Langdale, upbeat and perhaps for good reason, he's alive. I'm just happy it. I'm still alive. My buddies are still alive. I care less about the harm. Now, a trapper was able to find and kill the alligator that attacked Fred. His arm was pulled from the stomach but could not be reattached. Now, here's a twist. Had Fred waited just a few more hours to go swimming, this probably would not have happened. The gator that attacked him had already been tagged as a nuisance alligator, and the trapper was scheduled to go out later in the day. A trapper showed up several hours later, so it was really a strange timing event of this tragedy. But thankfully, Savannah, survival. Yeah, he is okay and a remarkably good attitude. Carrie Sanders in Palmdale, Florida, thank you.